praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, I thank you all once again and I welcome you to the atmosphere where we hear the word of God. Here is a platform where we hear the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is always here and amen. And as you continue to stick to the word of God, the Bible says you will continue to come out with a testimony. Glory be to God, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen, somebody. This hour, I want to speak on the word of God, which I tried to. As you continue to do this, I repeat, as you continue to apply this method that I'm going to give you, you will continue to see the glory of God. Amen. Do this and you will see the glory of God. It's a present continual tense. Hallelujah. As you continue to do this, you will continue to see the glory of God. Hallelujah. The word of God is always here. Amen. Remember, the Bible says, wherever you set your foot as a child of God, you will always come out with a testimony, a present, continual tense. Hallelujah. But before we go for the word of God, let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, once again, your word is about to come. I say, breath on your word. Use your word for as many that we turn to this station any time, any day, any hour. It can be a day, it can be weeks, it can be years. Father, it can be decades. Let this word transform them as they hack in, as they stand on your word to apply them. Father, let this word not go back to you for it. Let it accomplish the purpose which you have made it for. For in Jesus' almighty name I have prayed. Every spirit of devour, every spirit of destruction, we silence them right now in the name of Jesus. I say, out in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to use the word of God in the book of Psalm 51, and I will start from verse 7. But before this, remember in Matthew 7, 7, the Bible says, Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, you will find. Knock, God says, he will open. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Let us go to the book of Psalm 51, and I will start from verse 7. Remember, I'm using Holy Bible. Hallelujah. There are so many versions, depending on the one that suits you for that moment. Amen, somebody. Remember, the title, the topic says, do this, continue to do this, continue to apply this method, and you will see the glory of God. No matter the rain, no matter the sun, no matter the affliction, no matter the world, I mean wars and rumors of war, no matter the wells that are desolate, you are, that thing you are looking at, oh God, will come to manifestation. His word is always yea and amen. Hallelujah, somebody. The Bible says in the book of uh, Psalm 51, verse 7, say, Cleanse me with your his soap, and I will be clean. You are the one that we need them to pray to God. Says, Cleanse me with your his soap, and I will be clean. But I will beseech you, beloved brothers and sisters, this is a teaching segment. I want you to go to the book of Psalm 100. Just something just came up to my mind. Let us see Psalm 100 before I go back to Psalm 51, verse 7, that place I read. Look at Psalm 100 here. It's only five verses. It says, shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Before you began to pray to God, to you know, make a request to God, you need to shout to God in order to draw the attention of God to you, the atmosphere where you are living. Hallelujah. So it says, shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. You can say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can say it over and over, up to 20 or 50 times. Hallelujah. Before you make a request, shout and praise the master, the creator of the universe. We have a song that says, praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord always. 
Praising the Lord with all our heart. Praising the Lord with all our heart. Always. Beloved brothers and sisters, as you shout praise the Lord, you go to verse 2. It say, worship the Lord with gladness. You can sing a song of worship. We worship you, Holy Spirit. You take your hands up like this. We worship you. We adore you. We worship you, Baba. Holy Spirit, we worship you. We worship you. We adore you, Daddy. Holy Spirit, we adore you. We adore you. We adore you, Daddy. Holy Spirit, we adore you. We adore you. Then you move to the next step. The verse 3 say, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. The fourth says, Enter His gate with thanksgiving and is caught with praises. Give thanks to him and praise his name. You know, he said, enter his gates with thanksgiving. You know, you have to, you know, thank God with whatever your hand produces, with 10%. Hallelujah, somebody. If you don't have 10%, give something from your heart that will not give grudges to God. I don't know whatever you are earning. If that thing is not enough, give with your good heart. His gate, that is his house. Wherever you are worship, worshiping, give, but give with a good heart. Don't give with grudges. Praise Master Jesus, somebody. That is what the Bible says in Psalm 100, verse 4. And also remember to thank him. Ten lepers were being healed on their way to go and meet the priest because Jesus saw ten lepers. He told them, go and show yourself to the priest. On their way going, they were made whole. They were healed. The leprosy left them. Nine just went on their way, started, you know, being, I don't know how we use the adjective to qualify them. They did not even remember to come back to Jesus to say thank you. Only one among the ten. They did not even go and show themselves to the priest that Jesus sent them to go and meet. They were made whole on their way. They have faith. They believe in what Jesus said. That is why they started going. But they were made whole. Jesus know he's going to heal them on their way going. Just wanted to have that faith. But they did not come back. So you have to, you know, apply all this method. If you are the one that wants to see the glory of God. Hallelujah. This is a teaching segment. As you continue to apply this method, you will continue to see the glory of God. There is no two doubt about it. He said, have I said it that I have not done it? The word of God is always here. Amen. God is a spirit. Those who want to serve him, we continue to serve him in spirit and in truth with great faith. Evidence of that thing you have not seen. Hallelujah, somebody. So you need to give thanks to God Almighty. Have one, you know, shout joy. Shout his name. Welcome him to the atmosphere where you are praising him. You are worshiping him. Hallelujah, somebody. You are going to do that. He said, I'm, I'm now back in Psalm 50. 1 verse 7. He said, cleanse me with his soap and I will be clean. As you do those things I told you in Psalm 100 verses 1 to end, just a 5 or 6 chapter there. Then you tell God to cleanse you. Why will the presence of God not be there with you to cleanse you? Hallelujah. He said, as you ask, he will give you. In Matthew 7, 7. He said, seek, you will find. Hallelujah. Knock. God said it will open for you to enter. Only those that are his, that are ready, that I have a pure heart, having a pure heart. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Tell God to cleanse you. There are so many characters we are exhibiting, we are having. I remember years ago, years, maybe 10, 15 years ago, I was in the dream. I was, I saw myself like in a stadium, a crusade was being had. People were on suit, clean. I just entered the auditorium with dirty, tattered clothes. Do you know I was Push out, I just woke up. 
do you know immediately the Holy Spirit told me it is not your physical body that is dead it is your character by them I was quarreling with some of my family members they offended me but God is not interested in that if they offend you God said you have to if they slap you here you have to give them here to slap in other words pray for those who persecute you pray for them to change you can be far from them because for other other problem not to occur because the way they are behaving is not the way you want them to be then you can rent another house you can be far from them but the bible says pray for them for them to change your duty is to be praying for them but if they refuse to pray whatever they are doing to you they are trying as a arrow we also turn back to them that is what the bible says in psalm 141 verse 10 and proverbs 26 27 hallelujah somebody he said let me hear joy and gladness psalm 51 verse 7 I read it and I'm in eight now. It says that let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. When the presence of God is not there, your bones are already crushed. You are the one that will tell God to lift all those bodies out of you. Those that are heavy laden, they should come and have a rest. We all know that chapter in the book of Matthew 11, 28 or Mark or so, to be precise. Praise the Lord somebody. Amen. He said, let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crossed rejoice. Nine says, hide your face from my sins and plot out all my iniquity. That is where the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Here now the songwriter King David said, we should tell God to hide our face from sins. So that when anything that is like a sin, you see it, you will hate it. You will not recognize them. You will not be enticed to be, you know, to have taste for things, something like sins. People are so good to love things that are sins. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16 down, it said the word of the sin and the word of the spirit, they are enemies. When you rub yourself with sin, God will back you. The presence of God will not be seen. Just like Samson I'm always using when he was with Delilah. The Bible says in that book of Judges, I think uh, 16 verse 20 or so, from 19 to 21 there, is there. It said the presence of God left Samson. He have chewed more than, he bite more than he could chew. Rubbing himself with sin over and over again. The presence of God couldn't bear it any longer. So also we are, many of us today. Huh? We are seeing this thing that is not good as a child of God. Yeah, we are still involving ourselves in it. Because it's a, for, a, a God that forgives sins. Shall we continue in sin and ask for his grace to, 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 to abide in us? The Bible says that God forbid the Romans 6, 1 and verse 2. Even in Hebrews 10 verse 26, it says, when we deliberately sin, when we matter, know the truth, it says no more for sacrifice, no more, uh, no more sacrifice for sin. When you have sinned deliberately, you are coming, forgive me. It's a deliberate act. When you know that as a child of God is not good, then you desist. We need to be very careful and not exempted. Even the words we say out of our mouth, the Bible says in Matthew, that whatever comes out from your mouth will defile you. Whether Matthew 15, 13 or so. Hallelujah, somebody. Or oh, Matthew uh, 15, 11. I beg your pardon. Hallelujah, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters, when you continue to apply this method, you will continue to see the glory of God. Do this to God and you will see the glory of God. That is the type topic we are deliberating on. As a child of God, a teaching segment we are this hour. Hallelujah. Help me to share, help me to like, help me to subscribe if you have not done like put it on my youtube not on my whatsapp or my facebook where they share it to you have mercy lord on your children let us repeat the verse 9 again of psalm 51 hide your faith from my sins and plot out all my iniquity hallelujah hallelujah 10 says create in me a pure heart O god create in me tell god to create a new heart this is was the prayer of king david when he stole a wife of a hit of a, a I'm sorry, this a, <laughs> I've forgotten the name. He stole somebody's wife when the husband went to the war front and killed the man and took a wife. That was where God dealt with him. The first son the woman had for him died upon his pleading. When he see that the son died, he just woke up and started praising God. Then where he wrote this Psalm 51. He said, create in me a pure heart. Anything you know that is not good, tell God now to create in you a new heart. To remove that stony heart, that dangerous heart. God is there. Say, ask and it shall be given. Hallelujah, somebody. It will not allow us to see the glory of God. 
when you have a stone heart, when you are living on a clean environment, when you are associating yourself with people who are unclean, with people who are worldly, the presence of God might go, you may not receive an answer from God. That is why often we are always repeating this one word to you as a child of God. We should stop nagging. We should see the reality and stand and be applying it. Let us stand on the word of God. Let us do this one thing so that the presence of God will automatically come. Who are on the Lord's side? The clan of Aaron, they said yes in the other book of Numbers. We are on the Lord's side. They were not chosen as the priests. I don't know the purpose why God created you. Have you asked? Tell God to take you out of those sinful life, sinful nature. Come to his throne of grace. You will see the glory of God. People will receive blessing through you. You will not know how you done it, how God did it for you. Just because you choose to stand on the Lord's side, you hack into him. You say, my son, in the book of Proverbs, give me your heart. Let your eyes observe my ways. Because his light is on your head. His lamp is on your head, I beg your pardon. His light will walk you out of darkness when you give God your heart as a child of God. Then I repeat again, say, create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Did you hear that? I'm moving on to level. We say, do not cast me from your presence. This is King David begging God. Have not sinned against God? I want you to realize where you are falling. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, he said the fall is not the problem. But realize you are falling, come out to your feet. Tell God to remove you from that sinful nature. Tell God you cannot help yourself. That is what I always tell God. To break me to pieces, me and my household. Remove us to the shape you want us to be. And as you do, the glory of God will be seen in your life. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. The Bible says in 12, that's the book of Psalm 51. It says, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore the joy. Hmm. You know, those in, you see, Christ in me is the hope of my glory. Christ in you will be the hope of your glory. When that spirit of God is in you, you vitalize your mortal body. You will be singing hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. There is a song in my place that says, I'm from Benin. From Benin, from Edo State in Nigeria. Hallelujah, Meritie. Hallelujah, Meritie. O Saheru me o. Hallelujah, Meritie. O Jesus Heru me ne. Hallelujah, Meritie. The Bible says in the book of John, it said, "Those who are born of God, they overcome the world." If you are born of God, you overcome the world. It's a present continual tense. That word is written in the Bible as a perfect word. It's a perfect tense. So as you are using this present continuously, you begin to see the glory of God. Praise the Lord, somebody. 12 says, restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. 13 says, then I will teach transgressions your ways. You see the way I'm teaching now. He, I ask and I was given and I'm passing them to you. I don't know the area God have called you. It might not be area of teaching or preaching. It might be the area of praising God. It might be the area of pray, praying to people in your comfort zone, in your room. You schedule 30 minutes every day. It can be one in the afternoon. It can be five in the evening. It can be six in the morning. Provided where you are chance, you give 30 minutes to praise God, to do the things of God. Why would the glory of God not continue to be inside you and outside you and began to people who see you will say yeah this is a child of god just like in antios in the days of the bible the children of god really manifest the power of god the glory of god was seen through the people now saw them and say ah these are christian christ-like it was not jesus who gave them christian just as people will see you they become to see the glory of god hallelujah we people see you and glorify god and be hungry to go to church we people see you I hate to serve God. Beloved, you have to choose out of the two. Hallelujah, somebody. Then I will teach transgressions your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. They will come to you. You will make them to come to God. You will make them to be hungry of the things of God. From the way you, 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 you are behaving, they will not emulate your character. Say, I want to emulate this, so this is a rich child of God, though. Then the glory of God will begin to see. God will begin to lift you from a zero to a hero. From nobody to somebody great. Hallelujah, somebody. In said 14, say, Deliver me from the grit of bloodshed, O God. You are God, my Savior. 
People are coming in the night to deal with you. They want to assassinate you. They want to do a lot of havoc. Ask God to deliver you from hands of such enemy that we want you to have a bloodshed. It will not come from your family, your beloved ones. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God. He said, deliver me from the gates of bloodshed, O God. You who are God, my Savior. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, may this word bless you. May God use it to bless you. May God use it to answer all your heart desire. He said, open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. Tell God to continue to open your heart so that your lips will give him praise every time. Ask Matthew 7, 7. I have to go back there to remind you the word of God is here. Amen. He said, ask. As far as it's inside among the word of God, it's in the, you know, it's in this word of God. God will say we give it to you. So you will ask God to open your lips so that your mouth will declare his praise. As you are praising God, anointing will flow. Yoke will be broken. As anointing flow in Isaiah 10, 27, it says yokes are broken because of the anointing. As you are releasing praises to God, see his glory coming down. Anything that is negative, contrary to his principle, in his in your life will be broken. They will be uprooted. He said, whatever is not planted by God in your life shall be uprooted. God will uproot the presence of God. We will uproot all those things. Hallelujah. Did you see the presence of God in the book of Kings? When Elijah was running from Jezebel and Ahab, after killing all the 350 bars and the 350 prophet bars, he was afraid because Jezebel was after his life. But where he hid on his way to talk, he was in like a bush area. The presence of God visited him. God was about the first, the angel of the Lord came to give him cake to eat because he has a long journey to go. Since he's afraid of Jezebel and Eber, he has to go and anoint Elisha and other people before God will take him to heaven. But the area I want you to know, the Bible says God was ready now to come and see him face to face. Remember, nobody sees God. When you see God, you will die. That is what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, the Bible said the presence of God as God was about to come. There was an earthquake. There was fire. There was a sea burst, river everywhere. The Bible said God was not inside. Did you see the presence of God? God was coming to see Elijah where he was running, hiding from Jezebel and Ahab. As God was ready to come for you to see the God you are serving is not an ordinary spirit. All power in heaven and earth belong to him. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says that as God was ready to come and see Elijah, earthquake, the Bible said God was not inside. There was fire sparking. Ground was cutting. River was flashing like tsunami. God was not inside. But when God came, it was wisdom. Quiet God. So you have to emulate God. Those that have the God, power of God in them. Like some people, God really bless them. You don't see it on their face. <laughs> you will see them through their actions. They don't exaggerate. Hallelujah. So he said, Open my mouth. And I will declare your prayer. Say, You do not delight in sacrifice, so I will bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offering. Did you hear all this? He said, you do not delight in sacrifice or I would bring it. God is not, you know, that time they will kill Ram, all these things. No. He said, my sacrifice, oh God, is a broken spirit. You need to yield yourself to the presence of the Holy Ghost. A broken, submissive to God Almighty. And it will please you to prosper Zion. We are the giant. We are the children of God. When you do all these things, you begin to see the glory of God. Then you will delight in the sacrifice of his righteous. In burnt offering offered. Then booze will be offered. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, this is just one word of God. The Holy Spirit are putting in me. So come and tell somebody, Adi. If you are a child of God, you need to apply all these verses I have elaborated on. You have to re-overemphasize this. Go and over, over and over, over and over. Go through it. Say to yourself, I have to stand on these principles so that I will continue to see the glory of God. 
as I'm living, as I have breath, because the death cannot praise him, cannot worship him, cannot serve him. Hallelujah, somebody. So if you are a child of God, you have to see the glory of God. It says in Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2, I am not deaf, my hands are not shorty, that I cannot give you, I cannot hear from you. He said, because of our iniquity, I'm, I'm not exempted. That is why we need to do all these things. We need to remember Psalm 100, from verses 1 to end. Use it to draw the presence of God. Began to ask him all these things. And as you do, you will see the glory of God. As far as your heart is opened, your heart observes his ways. You back up all those negative things, things that are contrary to his principle. Our God is a holy God. If you want to serve him, serve him with holiness. As Jesus told that Samaritan woman in the book of John chapter 4, he said, those who want to serve God, we continue to serve God. It's a present continual thing in spirit and in truth, not in sacrifice of lighty candle, all those things. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, I think this is where I will draw the curtain. Once again, I thank you for the time you used to listen. It is not in vain. May God continue to bless his word inside you. Break every charcoal out of you. Use it to nourish you. So that wherever you set your foot, you will possess your possession. Hallelujah, somebody. So I pray for you this hour. The peace of God, I live with you. He said, my peace, I live with you. As you bread the air of this God Almighty. May the peace of God continue to follow you. May God increase you in wisdom, increase you in knowledge, increase you in an understanding. May the glory of God begin to see wherever you are. May the presence of God continue to follow you. May you be a carrier of the word of God. May God increase you in every ramification. Above all, may the purpose of God be fulfilled in your life. May any man ask you the God you are serving. Anywhere they come in one way, they will control fully in seven ways. That is what the Bible says in the book of Psalm. Hallelujah. I think Psalm 91 verse 7. You'll be victorious. You'll be a virtue woman, a virtue man. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for listening. Until I come your way next time, keep on bouncing the Lord. Please help me to share, help me to like, help me to subscribe. And as you do, the blessings of being an evangelist, God will also bless you in the area and the field he has called you. He will open your understanding. He will remove those clay that will fall out of you. The enemy used to blind you in the mighty name of Jesus. So bye-bye for now. Until I come your way next time, glory be to God. Amen.